Wolves are well known to be some of the most skillful hunters in the world, but it's important to remember that. No matter what they would like you to think, they're not perfect. In fact, many animals in the world could take them down. Please don't tell them I said that, though. From the surprisingly powerful horse to the fearsome Irish wolfhound, let's take a look at 15 animals that could defeat a wolf. <sighs> Number 15. Horses. I know you think we've lost our minds, and we have, but hear us out. Horses are generally not known to be aggressive or hostile animals, but they're a lot better at fighting off predators than you may be thinking. You may want to see this one for yourself. Obviously, wolves are incredibly smart predators who know exactly which animals to target. Healthy horses naturally are not on the menu because, well, they would kick the heck out of a wolf. Generally speaking, a horse would rather run than actually stay and fight. But if it really comes to it, horses are not afraid to kick, bite, or crush the enemy, giving them a problem. According to those who have studied, witnessed, or unfortunately experienced one of these aggressive horse defenses, horses have a surprising amount of accuracy when it comes to delivering those knockout blows. So yes, a horse could easily wipe the floor with a wolf. That's generally why wolves will avoid a healthy horse horse, and even big cats have to plan their attacks to catch the horse by surprise. An angry horse is certainly not the kind of foe you want to be facing when you're just looking for a quick snack. Although I'm sure the facial bruising clears up eventually, maybe. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Irish Wolfhound I mean, obviously, the Irish Wolfhound could take down a wolf. It's in the name. The Irish Wolfhound is quite literally bred to locate, track down, and kill other animals. And while they may be nothing short of delightful to humans, wolves don't get the same gentle treatment. The Irish Wolfhound is considered a pretty sturdy and protective dog, thanks to its vigilant and, when called for, aggressive nature. If, for example, they were to spot a wolf getting a little bit too close to a loved one or the dog's home, the Wolfhound would immediately launch into action. The dog would chase down the wolf, attack, and most likely kill it. While it may not be one of the best protection dogs, as the breed is generally pretty gentle, they would absolutely take on the wolf in order to protect protect their owners and or loved ones. The likelihood of an Irish wolfhound taking on a wolf seemingly out of nowhere is obviously pretty low, but if it were to happen, there's no question that the wolfhound would probably win. Unless, of course, it happened to be very weak or injured. But who has time to be injured or weak when you're a wolfhound, right? Number 13. Cougar in a hypothetical fight between a cougar and a wolf, the outcome isn't even worth debating. There is one very clear winner, and it is the cougar. It's not even close to a fair fight, the cougar just has all the advantages. It's like playing Monopoly with a rich person. You know they're going to cheat, right? What's the point? Obviously, big cats will always have something of an advantage against dogs. These animals have evolved to be the most efficient land predators, and their genetics just make them superior. They are larger, faster, stronger, more agile, and they have the more effective weapons. Basically, the wolf does not stand a chance. Even if you put the cougar up against a pack of wolves, the odds are still in the cougar's favor. Now that's the level of power we're talking about right here. Obviously, the cougar just has more to use in a fight than a wolf. The cougar has its jaws, swift and powerful paws, with retractable claws, and just a whole lot of bulk behind it. The wolf meanwhile has its jaws, and let's be honest, biting someone in a boxing match is always going to be a risky strategy that, uh, more often than not, will get you a broken nose. Sorry, Wolfie. Number 12. German Shepherd 
Generally speaking, a wolf would have a much better time taking on a dog or other canid than it would any kind of cat. So you'd think that a matchup between a wolf and a German Shepherd would be a pretty fair fight, right? You would be wrong. But then you probably already knew that. German Shepherds are undeniably powerful enough to fend off pretty much any and all attackers they could face. But when it comes to wolves, they most definitely meet their match. So how would it win this fight exactly? Well, the German Shepherd is among the strongest dogs in the world, with a bite force of around 238 PSI on average. Their focus and incredible loyalty make them incredibly popular as police or military dogs, and perhaps more often, guard dogs. <laughs> If these dogs are not trained properly, they can be aggressive with unfamiliar people or animals. Which means, uh, yeah, you know what that means. If a German Shepherd were to encounter an unfamiliar wolf, for example, it's pretty obvious what would unfold. That dog would just go to town on that wolf until, uh, eventually the wolf would have no choice but to admit defeat and slink back home. If it made it home. Number 11. Wolverine even though their names are kind of similar, there's no relation between the Wolverine and the Wolf. This really just means that the Wolverine can go even harder on the Wolf than it probably would otherwise. That's bad news for the Wolf, because the Wolverine is pretty tough. If you were just looking at the size of the animals, you'd probably assume that the tiny wolverine would be destroyed. Not only is it half the size of the wolf, but it's also far, far lighter. However, the size of the wolverine is pretty much irrelevant. Generally speaking, these animals don't like to hunt, preferring to feast on the leftovers that it discovers along the way. If they feel they're being threatened, however, the wolverine will put up an intense fight to survive, even if it finds itself confronted by more than one wolf. Surrender is never an option for this animal. While the wolverine may not be known as one of the most intimidating animals on the planet, they're definitely not willing to just roll over and accept death. In a fight against a wolf, they will evade and fight back until the very end. And if that means they get to defeat a wolf in the process, pretty sure the wolverine would be more than okay with that, bub. Number 10. Tiger if you're at all surprised that a tiger could or would defeat a wolf, you probably haven't been paying much attention to the animal kingdom. The tiger is the largest cat in the world, an apex predator if there ever was one. Very few animals could defeat this guy. A wolf is... Uh, heh, easy. While the wolf has obviously evolved into one of the world's best hunters, it has absolutely nothing on the tiger. Not only is the tiger bigger than the wolf, but it's stronger, more agile, and has a much better approach to hunting. In fact, if the tiger really wanted to take down a wolf, it's likely that the wolf wouldn't even know about it until it was too late. But in terms of how the tiger would take down the wolf, easy. The tiger has a bite force of around 1000 PSI. If it were to get one fatal bite to the neck, it could take down any living animal in the world. That includes the wolf. It doesn't really matter which way you look at it, the wolf just cannot match up to the tiger whatsoever. In every single way, in every single context, the tiger is far superior to the wolf. Probably wouldn't pay for this fight on the pay-per-view if I were you. Number 9. American Pit Bull Terrier now we come to a controversial topic. The pit bull is obviously one of the most notorious and fearsome of all big dog species. But could it beat a wolf in a fight? The answer is, uh, it's complicated. Let's delve into this one. Studies have been shown that the bite force of a wolf is much greater than that of a pit bull. So it would seem on paper that this fight is over before it even begins. It's also worth noting that a pit bull is not even close to the predator that the wolf is. However, the pit bull does have something of a hidden advantage. They're totally fearless. If they feel an animal is pushing their buttons, they will absolutely fight with everything they have to come out on top. And that's not necessarily a great sign for a wolf. So I guess the answer here is that either could win, but the pit bull should absolutely not be counted out. While it may not be as powerful or as skilled as the wolf, the pit bull has a kind of fight within it. If it were to feel that 
that the wolf is getting a little bit ahead of itself, it's easy to imagine that a pit bull would just attack the ever-loving G's out of that wolf. And you better believe that wolf would be praying to whoever is listening. Number 8. Grizzly Bear as humans, we're kind of conditioned to naturally fear the grizzly bear, one of the most brutal and intimidating animals in the world. But now they're becoming notorious to other animals too. And the wolf is… well, I think it's fair to say that they're not fond of one another. For over a century now, the relationship between grizzlies and wolves has been recorded as not great. And now that relationship is becoming even more hostile, as grizzlies actively stake out spots near wolf dens. If they're not killing the wolves directly, they're just stealing the wolves' kills. Which is maybe more annoying to the little guys than if they were just straight up murdered. Still, there are some areas of the world where the wolves just refuse to give up. Always believing that there's a chance they will win the fight. I don't think I have to tell you how that turns out. The wolf is just no match for the grizzly bear. It's as simple as that. The grizzly is powerful enough that it could wipe out most other animals without much thought. To the grizzly, the wolf is nothing more than an annoying dog that needs to be dismissed by force. So once again, a new contest. Number 7. Pishtar Dogs Ah, we're back to the old dog versus dog matchup. Pishtar dogs originate in the Pishtar region of Kurdistan, and it's well known for its incredible stamina when fighting off external threats. So why don't you take a guess about where this one is gonna end up? Pishtar don't usually find themselves facing off against wild animals like wolves, but when they do, well, it's never a very pretty sight. While the wolf is obviously an excellent hunter and a fearsome predator, the Pishtar is just genetically predisposed to fight off any and all threats that it faces. from animals to, uh, well, anything else, really. Thanks to that seemingly endless stamina and incredible endurance, the Pishtar are able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the wolf for much longer than other animals could. So once again, the wolf would just go hungry or wounded. Either way, it's not a fun time for Wolfie. There's a reason the Pishtar is used to protect livestock against predators, and it's not because it looks welcoming and adorable. This dog will do anything to protect its and its home, and it most certainly does not take well to intruders like the wolf. So no, go home Wolfie, thank you very much. Number 6. African Python Maybe you've asked yourself this question before, but if not, let me ask you now. Could a snake kill a wolf? I'll give you a second answer. Okay, if you said no, you really haven't been paying attention to the theme of this video. But if you said yes, congrats, you win uh, this uh, topic? Obviously, the species of snake is a big factor of success here, but the African python could easily take down or even kill a wolf if it's so desired. Other snakes, like the anaconda, could also achieve this goal, and while it may be a generally uncommon scenario, it has definitely happened and will likely happen again in the natural world. What can I say? Wolves just have a natural gift for ticking off other animals in the wild. It's hard not to recognize that kind of gift. It's so uncommon outside of humans. The circumstances for these two animals to meet in the wild are definitely uncommon, but if it were to happen, the odds would probably be in the python's favor. Again, the wolf just has an incredible way of irritating the other animals it encounters. It's kind of impressive at this point. Number 5. The Kangle Dog it's that age-old question once again. Who would win in a fight between a wolf and a kangal? And like all questions that pose a long overdue fight between two notorious animals, the answer is, I don't know man, I'm just a voiceover guy, but I'll do my best to find out. If this hypothetical matchup ever actually happened, it's honestly kind of a toss up between who would win. And much of it depends on the species of wolf. While the kangal is a pretty strong dog in its own right, the wolf is a wolf and some species of wolf could wipe the floor with this dog without even having to think twice. On the other hand, kangles are used throughout southern Africa to protect livestock from attacks by predators, so it's not totally outside the realm of possibility that this animal would be ready, willing, and capable of holding its own in a fight with a wolf. 
So the answer to that age-old question is a big old, I don't know, probably both. It very much depends on the context. However, while the wolf may seem like the natural winner on paper, that doesn't necessarily mean it will play out that way in reality. Have I avoided the question to your satisfaction? Number 4. The Alibi it's a very fitting name for this particular animal because the alibi would need an alibi when it eventually killed the wolf. Well, probably kangaroos are the only ones that actually have court, but once again we come to a matchup where the winner is dependent on many factors. Probably the biggest three factors that would decide who won in this fight are the backgrounds of the dog and the wolf, and the location of the meeting. If the alibi was raised as a family pet, you may as well not even consider it a contender for winning. If, however, it was raised to fight, then we're looking at a chance. Similarly, if the wolf was raised in captivity, the dog would have more chances of winning. However, if the fight is on the wolf's territory, any chance of the alibi winning that fight is pretty much out of the window. So as you can see, it's kind of a gamble, but the alibi, in the right conditions, could easily take down and wipe the floor with that wolf, but only if the conditions are right. And, you know, that's not necessarily something the dog can control. Sorry, bud. Number 3. The Sarplananak if you're going to bet on any kind of dog to take down a wolf, it better be a mountain dog. The Sarplananak is formidable, known as one of the most practical breeds out there. <laughs> They've been used for everything from herding to guarding and even as military dogs, so that wolf better watch out. As one of the oldest native breeds in the world, the Sarplananak has a legacy to uphold and a reputation to maintain. Their drive to protect is incredibly deep, and they will do anything to protect their loved ones if they even suspect a hint of danger in the air. So imagine what would happen if a wolf showed up and began badgering the Sarplananak. This dog generally resists aggression unless it's been thoroughly provoked, and they've been known to take on entire packs of wolves alone. Need I say more? Of all the dogs that the wolf could fight, the Sarplananak is easily one of the most intimidating. This dog will do anything to protect its loved ones, and it will fight any and all creatures who dare to threaten their safety. So I think it's pretty easy to see that the wolf would get his ass kicked. Number 2. Tibetan Mastiff if we're pitting dogs against wolves, surely we have to turn to one of the most celebrated guard dogs in the world, the Tibetan Mastiff. These dogs are known to be so powerful that some of the most terrifying figures in history have owned them. And I doubt Genghis Khan would keep a dog who would lose in a fight to a wolf, right? If the Tibetan Mastiff is known for anything, it's known for being one of the world's most intense and loyal guard dogs. When these dogs are tasked with protecting, they take their duty extremely seriously. Their life depends on it. So in a hypothetical fight between a wolf and a Tibetan Mastiff, it's pretty much over before it begins. If the wolf has crossed into the Mastiff's territory, that just makes it more likely that the wolf will be destroyed. The Mastiff is a fiercely territorial creature, and it does not take well to intruders. Like pretty much all the animals on this list, the likelihood of this fight naturally occurring in the wild is pretty low, but it's not impossible. However, if it did happen, the fight would almost definitely go to the Mastiff. if for no other reason than it would fight like its life depended on it, which it really does. Number 1. The Caucasian Shepherd And now we come to the ultimate question, Wolf versus Caucasian Shepherd. And once again, we return to our favorite answer, it's complicated. In this case, it really is an evenly matched battle that would be incredibly difficult to call ahead of time. Let's break down why. First of all, the wolf has certain advantages over the Caucasian Shepherd. It has a bite twice as powerful, and its aggressive instincts are more well-trained and well-rounded than the Caucasian Shepherd. On the other hand, there is something of an advantage for the Caucasian Shepherd. There is never just one. Because these dogs are tasked with guarding sheep, 
farmers always make sure to have more than one. Much like wolves would in the wild, the Caucasian Shepherd work as a team, making their chances of defeating the lone wolf much higher. <laughs> Still, even if you were to witness a one-on-one -on -one fight between the two animals, it's not set in stone that the wolf would win. The Caucasian Shepherd can more than hold its own in a fight. It's just that very few animals dare to take them on in a one-on-one -on -one fight. I'd call them cowards, but I'm, uh, well, I'm scared of them. Which of these wolf-defeating animals surprised you the most, and why? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.